much, man. Well, thank you so good, much. Bro. Good talk on Bernie. All the stuff, man. We do, we're doing the right thing. We just got to keep doing it. Absolutely. All right. We are here with Killer Mike, TYT Politics. Hey. Uh, this is uh, this is uh, really exciting to see you. You've been, uh, you really lifted up a lot of us. So, so Bernie Sanders is about to speak. Do yeah. You, do you want to tell us anything? Do I want to tell you? I mean, I don't want nobody's going to say. I, I probably what do you have... What do you advise? What do you What do I What do I advise him to say? Or just rap? Or just do a little rap? I'm, well, I'm not going to rap because you don't have enough money to pay me to rap. But um, what I hope Senator Sanders says, what I hope Senator Sanders says is no vote without something. You know, if, if Democrats are going to switch our vote to Hillary, it shouldn't just be out of fear of Donald Trump. It should be with the expectation of radical and fundamental change within the Democratic Party. That's it. You know, I don't I don't want to just unite because we're perceived as taking a loss. I want us to unite because the other side comes closer to the ideals and principles that we've been pushing for. Well, I'll tell you, my my deal breaker for Hillary Clinton is the TPP. If, yeah. she, pa if she denounced it convincingly, I would hold my nose and vote for her. I wouldn't like it, but I would. Yeah. Or, are there a particular couple of things if, for you? Ju criminal justice reform around policemen right. that, that kill American citizens no matter what their color. Should be should have special prosecutors and should be federally prosecuted. Absolutely. Jobs need to come back to America. Absolutely. And beyond that, there needs to be a specific thing for the African American community. We've had a great African American president, a great president for the last eight years. But the last seven years of this presidency, we've slid further into poverty, in particular in the African American community. 17% of the unemployment for African American men, 51% as high as 51% um, African American unemployment for African American youth. That needs to change, and there needs to be a specific program from federal government for that, and also in matters of mortgages. It's never been easy for black working class people to get a mortgage. It wasn't easy after World War II when they got shafted on the GI Bill, and it's not easy now. There needs to be 21 black, there are 21 black banks left. Those banks and the federal government need to make it easier for working class African Americans who have good rental history to become homeowners because that's what stabilizes community. So at this stage right now, does Hillary Clinton have your vote, assuming she wins? No. No. She so, what, so what do you, so what well, do, you do? I'll see you after the convention, won't we? We need you to okay. take <laughs> right, well, Thank you, thank you for talking with us. Thank I you. really appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, goodbye. Thank you. Say it to the brothers back home. To the mic in the All right, this is Jeff Epstein, guest correspondent for uh, TYT Politics, and I am also uh, assistant director and lead DNC correspondent for Citizens Media TV on Facebook. Citizens Media, www.facebook.com slash Citizens Media TV. So, TYT Politics first, and then, then check us out as well. All right, so we're covering uh, Bernie Sanders speaking to all the delegation. Hasn't started yet, but uh, Killer Mike, we started early. Uh, all right, so it might be boring for a little bit, but I'm going to keep it on. Hey, hey! Okay, good, just so remember that. So people could quiet down, take their seats. We only have a couple minutes. Does everybody have one of these? Who's ready to fight for our revolution? Who's ready to stand up and fight back? Who's never, never, never giving up? Okay, Claire is going to talk for two minutes about this, and we need your help, and we need your leadership. All right, thank you. Thank you all for all coming right, in. All right, patience as we're getting, getting settled. We have to find in. spots. It's a little bit hard Who right now. Who here is ready to continue the political revolution? Good, because we're going to need all of you to make that happen. Just like this campaign, this movement is going to be led by all of you going forward in this next critical phase. We're going to ask you to do everything that we asked you to do on this campaign and more. We're going to ask you to get on the phones and knock on doors and host events or attend events with your neighbors and join special volunteer teams and support thousands of grassroots candidates who are running for office, including probably many of you here in this room. So that we can stop the TPP. So that we can pass tuition-free college. 
so that we can expand health care. So we can take on the big banks. So we can end mass incarceration and the war on black lives. So that we can ban fracking and keep fossil fuels in the ground. And so that we can take over this government at every level with candidates who support the political revolution. Okay, and all of that begins in just a few weeks in late August when we are going to formally launch a very exciting organization that some of you have probably already read a little bit about. And that's called Our Revolution. That's going to be the organization that continues the legacy of this campaign and keeps the movement alive on all the issues and on all the fights that we need to keep working for. We're going to launch our revolution the same exact way that we launched this campaign with gatherings across the country, large and small, house parties and large events led by you, the volunteers. How many of you participated in our July 29th organizing kickoff last year, almost a year ago? And look how far we've come in just a year. Just a year ago, everyone was saying that this was a fringe campaign. We were never going to crack 5%. And look, look at how far we've come. And it's going to be the same thing with our revolution in a year. So, um, you all got a sheet on your way in. That is a sign-up sheet to be an event host, to host a launch party for our revolution. And we're hoping that as many of you as possible will fill out these forms. Now, probably many of you have already hosted tons of events. Um, so this is old hat for you. But let me just tell you, once you fill out that form, you're going to get an email that's going to give you details on the events and everything that you need to know and you're going to be able to edit the event or cancel it if you need to. You're going to get support from tons of volunteers. We're going to contact you and give you all of the information multiple times. Um, so you're going to be well prepared and we will be identifying the exact date very, very soon. But for now, please just fill out as much of that form as you possibly can. And volunteers are going to be coming around to collect the forms from you. There are volunteers with pens, volunteers with more sheets. So grab one of those forms and then when you're done, hand your form into a volunteer who's collecting the forms and let's see how many of these we can possibly make so that we can make this, this launch one? as big as possible and go into this, this next incredibly important phase awesome? this long-term phase of this political revolution with as much momentum as possible so who here is going to stand up and be one of the people who's going to lead this political revolution going forward by hosting a launch event raise your hand that's like almost everybody in this room. If ever, if all of you who just raised your hands follow through on that and you host one of these events, this next phase of this movement is going to be even bigger and more powerful than this than this campaign. As as amazing as it is to, to even think that we could go beyond what we did in this campaign, that's what we have to do. That's what the issues demand that we do, and that's what we're going to do. Thanks to all of you. So thank you all so much. Fill out those forms, get it from a volunteer, and then turn them back in. We've got to get them back from you. And, uh, Live stream, Bernie we may, speaking. We may hear Bernie another, to speak to we may hear from uh, Larry again, and then Bernie is going to be here very, very soon. So we've got to get these all in by the time Bernie comes in, okay? All right. Bernie speaking to his full, Bernie about to speak to his full delegation. Coming up tomorrow. We're not here. So, don't go out of the way. No problem. Alright, so we're still getting settled here. Bernie's obviously not here yet. Uh, so, walk around and see what's going on, or at least talk to people near me. Um, but I'm not going to turn off the live stream, so forgive that it's a little boring while we're waiting. Uh, because uh, cell service is so spotty with so many people Done. and with such high security. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm not going to turn off the live stream because I'm concerned that we would not get it back. So it looks like Killer Mike is on stage. <coughs> uh, we just spoke to him at the beginning of the video. Uh, he surprised us. That was pretty sweet. And it uh, looks like he's going to speak. Uh, but unfortunately, we're just going to have to stay online with the boring stuff. So thanks for your patience. <laughs> you could interview. How y'all doing? There you go.
Hello, how are y'all doing? I'm a rapper. Hold on, let me get it straight. Hello, how are y'all doing? I was just on the phone with my mother. And she was like, well, what did you dress like? And I said, well, all I had was blue jeans and a t-shirt. And she said, well, wear a gold chain, because that's like a tie for a rapper. My name is Michael Render, for all that are listening. Professionally, I'm known as Killer Mike. Ben Jealous is right there. And about a year ago, I fell in love with an old, crazy, haircutted white guy who's from Brooklyn, but was rapping for Vermont. His name is Senator Bernard Sanders, and we've all been on a journey with him. If you've been pro Bernie, let me hear you make some noise. If you feel the burn, let me hear you make some noise. If they need to hear us outside of this room, let me hear you make some noise. Now, I was, I was at Coachella early this year. We did a big show, and the thing that made me happy about that show is when Senator said, when you see you voting, Bernie, 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 Absolutely. I love you guys, and remember, look around you. Look at the different races, look at the different ages, look at the different sections, and know this, and know this, this is what the Democratic Party should look like. This is what the Democratic Party should vote like. This is what the Democratic Party is. Make some damn noise. If you're going to go home and vote, make some noise. If you're going to make sure this revolution does not die, make some noise. If the other side better adopt some of our platform really quickly, make some noise. I love you all and I'm going to go sit out here and sit with you guys and take pictures and make sure our... And right now, in this movement, there may be some people outside of here who say that our power is waiting. But I can tell you that when you grow up in a family of revolutionaries, what you know is that moments like this are just the beginning.